Hi, I'm Edward, the co-op member pioneer for Inverclyde. We're at uh, Shore Street Gardens with uh, Inverclyde Shed. Bruce is over there. We're going to do some gardening. Yeah. Oh, it's got Wolverine. Obviously, you should have right? Just plant it. Plant it like that. Don't worry about gaps in between. We'll fill them up. No Try worries. and get it as close as you can to the to the cane because we're going to tie them to the cane basically. They're going to grow up the cane. The giant, the giant beans talking now. We're going to do each of them. Okay? Awesome. be a bit hard. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's okay. And just wait. Oh, ah! It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> just plant it in nice and firm. Should be a wee triangle of reach at the bottom. That's all you need. Plant. Wasn't as easy as it looked. No. <laughs> Yeah, all the way along. Great. Yeah, you can just back exactly just back so just scrub all that up and just put it into the back there. We're gonna we're gonna add uh, something interesting in a second that I'm gonna show you. Oh. Yeah. It can do, we'll add more strings when we go. Once see once it takes a hold. Look, so I'm gonna show you one that is doing it already. Uh, they're pretty strong, they're like, they're like, uh, like climbing ivy. I mean, I'll show you what they do, they kind of mm -hmm. spiral around about the cane um, and hold on to it effectively. Ah, it's the nutrients that you can get in, mm. so you don't need to kind of, it's not like the strength of the cane, it's like a water for these. These will feed more nutrients kind of thing. Okay. Last year you got the co-op fund and you got it again this year. How did that help the Shore Street uh, Gardens and how will it help Muir Shield? It, it, it's helped them all kind of thing, but mainly uh, Muir Shield uh, Garden, which is our other garden, uh, we're setting up what we lack here is propagation facilities. So we're going to have that up at Muir Shield and the idea is to have local schools coming to learn about growing in there. So we've already had St Michael's come up and we've been working with them with the John Muir Award and we've helped set up their garden on the back of being up at Muir Shield as well. Uh, what we're also looking to do this next year um, is try and improve the accessibility of all our spaces. Um, so Muir Shield you saw, has got a, quite a steep ramp, so we need to make that more accessible. Uh, the wood chip paths here, wheelchairs can get in, but we want to make it more accessible and put in paths and things as well. Um, and also up at Muir Shield we want to expand the number of beehives that we have so that people can learn about bees. Um, bees, if there's no bees, there's no humans, mm. so as simple as that. So these are a uh, couple of cards from the co-op. Oh, it's, it's got seeds in it. Yeah, yeah, like one. yeah absolutely. Keep them dry because they might start kind of propagating <laughs> when they get a bit wet. We're just about to head into Rig Arts now and give them a wee surprise. Well, any funding that we get from the co-op fund will go towards our Rooney Burns class, which um, is all about helping the children in Inverclyde and finding like fun and friendly ways to make friendship and develop their creativity through visual arts and also um, community and also providing respite for the parents because we do it on Saturday mornings. That. Uh, it's all about the co-op. Colouring oh, the right. pencils will that be? Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, we can get, give that to the Grooming Bends and also we have some other classes that will love that as well. <laughs> They're so cute. They're so cute. Thank you so much. Oh, the kids will love that. And the tutors. <laughs> <laughs>